guys, my name is Ray Canales, I'm a comic artist. I hail from, as I told, Epum Boyet, uh, from the cold and rainy part of Spain. And uh, I'm, I'm, in th I'm in my 30s and I'm pretty handsome, if I may say so myself. Good to know. Hey, Canales, could you tell us a little bit more about your graphic novel, Iron Sights? It's basically uh, an adaptation, a sequential adaptation of uh, one of Richard's old scripts. It's a border thriller in the vein of uh, Sicario or Hell, or High, Hell and High Water. You know, if you, uh, you know those movies. But, you know, a greedy border thriller with lots of uh, cartel enforcers and ex-marines killing tons of people. Really, really cool and action-packed story. So how did you and Zack meet? I mean... There's quite a bit of a distance between where you are and where he is, so it's unlikely y'all just bumped into each other. Well, I was a follower of Richard's on YouTube, and I was also, without me knowing it, a follower, uh, a follower on Twitter, when he still had the uh, Make Comic Make Comics Great Again account. Uh, I remember I remember he mentioned uh, that he was uh, doing the. Repair project, so I like the idea. I sent him uh, what can be called fun, fun art of Riri. He liked it, and you know, the, the old fun dream came true. He DM'd me and he told me that he had a project and he offered me a job. And I say, Yes, yes, of course, I like your stuff, I like your ideas, and I would love to work with you. So, what was it like working with Zach? Oh. Uh, it's, it's been mostly uh, free reign, do whatever you want, and if, okay. I don't, if I don't like it, I'll let you know. I hope that doesn't mean you were slacking. Don't tell me that's had a negative impact on your art. Everyone keeps telling me that my, my style has improved a lot, and I think it's uh, partly due to, to the fact that some people weren't entirely happy with the, the first results, so I just want, you know, full, uh, full taskmaster mode. To, to quote a Marvel character, and I began watching videos and tutorials. Uh, I began watching uh, EBS, how to draw stuff, what tools he used, and how. And I think that really helped me. And if I didn't listen to the, to the critics, I would have never improved. All right, now that's the spirit. And he said that Zach gave you free reign, but obviously you two had to work together. Tell me a little bit about the synergy between you two and how that affected the project. Uh, I kind of adapted it and then he readapted it so it's it's a really it's a really cool process to watch because uh, you you just draw the faces and in this case Richard would uh, would adapt the dialogue to the faces you know we would click little things here and there and it will it will always be better than, than what you had so the, the the final product the final result of that collaboration actually blew both our minds aside from project Re rebirth have you done any other comics or are you a bit green to making comics? No, not at all. Uh, I've been professionally trying to become a comic artist since, I think, 10 years now, over 10 years. I began doing uh, often not paid Transformers fan art back in when I, when I ended college. Then I had a short story published in Heavy Metal magazine. And uh, I've been... Uh, steadily working on web comics and indie comics with uh, with several American friends since uh, maybe five years something like that so I have quite experience by now over a decade that is a lot of time in comics and by the way I've talked to a lot of artists over the years each and every one of them has a story Mr. Canales what is yours I've always been into art, but if I had to isolate one cause, I would say my dad. My dad uh, was an art student. He was actually a furniture design student when he lived in Brussels. Because yeah, we're Spanish, but my dad and my mother uh, migrated to, to Belgium when they were young, blah, blah, blah. My dad had uh, formal, art, formal art studies and he also liked comic books. So he, he introduced me to comic books to you know the usual usual European stuff like Tintin or Asterix and he also taught me the basics of drawing like perspective and volume and all that so yeah that, that would be it your dad sounds like a pretty interesting man glad you have him to help you along your path that you've chosen but back to iron sights now what you've told me about it 
has me a bit interested in seeing it in full. But I'm going to ask you point blank. Should I buy Iron Sights? Well, I'll just say uh, you should support not only Iron Sights, but everything Zach puts out because uh, he's, uh, uh, to put it, uh, uh, my latest old man comics. He has a vast knowledge of comics. You know, he's like a younger Stanley. Uh, <laughs> if you ask him about a comic, he has probably read it. He has, he knows the story behind it. So, if you like comics, just like anything Zach makes, because you won't be disappointed. All right, I'm sold. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Canales. You want to say anything else? And yeah, you should totally check out. Uh, Javon Swain's channel, Radio Christie South. It's really worth it. Really nice guy, full of really interesting content. Thank you guys for watching. Please help support this Indiegogo. Subscribe to Diversity in Comics, and y'all have a good day.